Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video today. I'm gonna showcase how you can win in uh, Professor Evil with two games. But first we need to go with this obviously because I have to change the uh, time, obviously, time, time and date. Which is kinda annoying. I'm playing my Steam account so you can actually see what I'm doing. And yeah, basically most of you people actually play on Steam instead of Microsoft. But I'm going to show you guys how you can win with DFA, with this strategy here. It's going to take a little bit of time, obviously. So I would start off with this guy here, go for a... Uh, not this guy, by the way. So I'm going to restart again. First, it's obviously going to go for this guy. We go for three times this guy. The... Uh, this guy here. This is my way how I won the game without asking six like how to get the W. Or he wants me to go for his strategy, basically, on how it's easier than mine, which I figured out myself. But, uh, yeah, so basically, what you need to go for is literally go for, like, five trip dots, and then we wait till we get the money for the uh, Monkey Fan Club for later. So, what you can see here, my opponent's going, or the Professor Evo is going, with adjustments. As you can see here, adjustments with motor and most likely even bomb, but he doesn't probably show it at all in this game. So it's gonna be really funny. And I'll show you guys also the zigzag way, where he taught me what to do. So shout out to this guy, obviously, because he's way better than me, and he knows stuff that I don't know sometimes. And his strategy is definitely way easier, but he also have to time it, or he can sell a farm, obviously, which also includes a farm, and his strategy would funk. So I'm gonna go one more trip dot and that's basically it. Or yeah, I'm gonna go for one more trip dot and we basically got it. Um, he's gonna send you some lads around 17, you should be fine. On round um, 18 or 19 he's gonna send you a Moab, non-boosted, and then a Super Bloom boost on round 20, a BFB. And how you're gonna defend it, I'll show you guys how in both ways, obviously like I said before. So once he sends you like a Moab non-boosted, you probably want to road spike it easily. And you can also for the tier 3 at this point because this AI adjustment is definitely pretty overpowered. But ODS in general is pretty decent. Though in my way you need to go for the A's down here. And then in 6x way you need to go for the A's here. So let's do that, there we go. I don't play on Steam but I still should be fine with the micro, and so should you. That's why I'm using Steam, because this time around, that's not what you do. And also, I will not, like, try to win. I'm just gonna try the best not to end this game here, because I still want to showcase the second way on how you do it. Of course, there will, might be a chance where people actually watch my video instead of Zigzag, but we'll see. Uh, the Professor Evil will be coming out obviously at 10 p uh, 10 a.m., which currently it's 11 p.m. for me, but it's actually not really the case. So I'm gonna go for like Monkey Fan Club basically now. I need to sell this guy though, and we use it right away with a boost. We put those three on strong. There we go. And we still might die. It's basically reliant how you do it. But it's basically pretty tough. That's how you basically defend. You need a lot more luck than after the Super Monkey Fan Club. I know it, I lost, but that's how you do it. You defend the BFB and then you go for the ODS, basically. That's how I defended it. It's taking a while. But after the BFB, he will not send you anything else. And uh, he also stops the adjustments, obviously. Now I'm going to showcase the second way where you can actually defend easily. It took me around, I think, five tries, thanks to Zigzag explaining what I should do after trying my own way by selling a plantation. So what you should do is literally go for this guy, right about here. There you go, you can also use a farmer. If you want to, that is. There we go. Now you go for a juggy and go for this guy. Basically, same spot as my previous first attempt, where I showcased where you can use it on my strategy, which is a little bit tougher. And you don't even have money for it, which, again, farms are way easier to board. You go also for a third trip dot, and then, believe it or not, you go for a ace, ace here. So, we'll go for an ace right away, put this on a circle point, and then we should be fine. So, 
currently it's actually almost 8 a.m. for me, so we got two more hours to go. And uh, at this point, we go for an ODS when I can. I hate my ace like this, but we should be fine. Or well, we can also boost, but I'm not trusting the boost, sadly. So let's go for this guy, there we go. Put this, those two on strong for now. Get this guy also on strong, and now we basically wipe. We got everything that we need. Those will be on strong. The ODS will clean up. In case we need someone else to clean up, we can put those back in first. And we should be technically fine. We don't really need anything else. We wait a little bit. Go for like... Um, some 2-2 uh, two -two Dark Monkeys for the Monkey Fan Club. We obviously want to go for like the Monkey Fan Club and also the Road Spikes on the Moab. So we do that obviously. Also this uh, A spot is pretty goaded. So you definitely need it. There is well on Circle Path or you lose. Technically. I guarantee you will only need about 8 to 9 monkeys against the BFB on against like adjustments with a boost and then you should be easily vibing to it as well. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit tough because adjustments is kinda tough as usual. Um, I could try not to boost this, which technically you need to sometimes. But you can see even without a boost, I'm still vibing. I'm gonna boost here. We don't really need the boost, like cycled. So if you're feeling like, ah, uh, I don't think I will need to boost this, you definitely need to. It's really fun. We have three to use. This is not really like a real game. You can use it. It's really much up to you if you want to or not. Uh, if you really are like a pro gamer or like a pro player, you can not use a boost whatsoever. It doesn't really matter. And now we got nine uh, dark monkeys, which is what you need. Or we can also go for eight, which is also fine. You can also sell your ODS if you want to, but I am not gonna sell my ODS because the ODS is gonna be pretty decent for cleanup. So we wait till the uh, mob comes out or the BFP comes out. We sell the Republic, go for the Monkey Fan Club, and we boost right away at the same time. Good thing this round ends, or not ends, but the AI is gone. Technically, we sell this guy, and we go for two more ODSs. We sell some defense for another ODS, and we don't really need to micro anymore. It's basically the end. And we can also do this here as well on last. We can go for two chucks, this doesn't really matter. The reason why is because three ODSs is what you need. It's really all you need. It's all the end. This is two ways how to defend this Professor Evil. You can do it my way, which kind of is tough, or you can do 6x way, which he also made a video about. I prefer doing 6x video or 6x way because the um, farm gives you more or generates more money, and my way is a little bit harder because you don't generate any money whatsoever, and you can even go for 2 chucks and a 3 ODSs here, so... If I have to be honest, I prefer doing the 6x way more than my way. But that's really up to you. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. And if you want to support me even further, even though it's going to be like 10 minute video of a Professor Evil, feel free to do so. I'm going to title this of course, two ways how to beat this uh, Professor Evil challenge. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. Feel free to subscribe, it will help me a lot and help you a lot for the notification. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. Peace out and love you guys. Mwah.